Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So um, many of you have requested that I do a video speaking in Hindi, but I wasn't, I'm not sure how many of you actually know Hindi. So I thought I would do a short video teaching you some Hindi words. Um, and uh, Hindi can be a difficult language to learn because the script is uh, very different from other languages. So for example, you can still learn French or, or Spanish a little easier because the letters used are the same as in English. But on the other hand, languages like Japanese, um, which have kanji are diff difficult to learn. Similarly, <coughs> Hindi uses the Devnagri script. So it's a different script, which doesn't look like the English script at all. So um, I will be teaching you a few simple words. Uh, maybe we can do numbers today. And if this is something that uh, is interesting to all of you then I can maybe go ahead and teach you a few phrases or common words and uh, the script might be a little more complicated to learn so but if that is something that um, is interesting then I can go ahead and teach you the script too someday so today we can just focus on the numbers we can do one to ten and um, i will show you how it's written in the numeric form and also show you how it's written in hindi but i will show you the transliteration in english too so that it's easier for you to learn okay so i have my um, board here i hope you can see so like i said um so like I said, Hindi is um, in the Dev Nagri script. Okay, uh, my handwriting is usually better than this, but uh, it's just a weird position I'm in. So, <laughs> um, all right, so. Uh, the Devnagri script is essentially a script that a few languages in India use, including Sanskrit and Marathi. I think Gujarati too, but I'm not sure. So the Devnagri script is, I think, one of the oldest scripts. I may be wrong because um, there's also Tamil, which is considered to be older than Devnagri. But um, none of these facts are verified. So... I don't know if it is uh, true, but this is what I believe is true. So, um, firstly, I'm just going to go ahead and write the letters, or write the numbers, and then I will write them in Hindi. So, um, number one, this is number one, which is ek. Do, teen, char, and punch. So, um, we'll just go through these first. So, in Hindi, it would be written like this. Ek, do, oops, teen, char, punch. 
ओके सो दिस इज एक दो तीन चार पांच एक दो तीन चार पांच ओके and i'm going to write it in english okay so you can say it with me if you are really wanting to learn the numbers so ek do teen char panch so when you say panch uh, you have to get the sound of n in the middle but you don't have to stress on this sound so it's very subtle so it's not but it's punch so it would take a little bit of practice but that's how you would say it so ek do teen teen um it's not teen it's um uh, the letter t would be um, like how you would say that so like teen but it would be it won't be like the it will be the so again if you're not used to saying this sound in your language it would be difficult but it would take practice so teen char panch okay so this is 1 to 5 and now we'll do 6 to 10 so i've just got my clock here Go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, so now six is written as an opposite. So if three is written like this, six is like the opposite. So che, sat, sat, no, this. This is chha. Um. I think some of my spellings might be a little wrong <laughs> but if you're Indian and you're watching this or if you know Hindi uh then let me know if I've made a mistake because to be honest Hindi we are taught as a secondary language usually even like a third language I learned Hindi as a third language in school so it's not something that uh i get to interact with on a daily basis um the extent of hindi that i've learned was just in school to pass the exams so um it's not something that i'm proud of i think in india in urban india there's so much in, uh, importance given now to english that uh, regional and local languages are taking a back seat but yeah so So this is six to six to ten. Che, sat, at, no, das. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a little messy. Che, sat, at, no, das. Okay, and I'm going to write it in English. Che. Up. 
cut no thus okay so che um the emphasis is on the double h so like ch you can try it with me ch and not j so you have to emphasize the ch so che sat again it ends with like a th like sat um your tongue comes between your teeth so sat art art no it's like no but like the french no no thus okay so che sat art no thus okay that's 6 to 10 so all the numbers together we'll just go through them again let's see if you remember <laughs> I mean, I used to be a teacher. My lesson plans were much more structured, I promise. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to wipe this. Okay. So I'm going to write all the numbers now. So I'm a little, I'm, I hope this is correct because I've also learned Marathi in school and uh, the numbers are very similar to this excepting a couple of, uh, a couple of numbers. So I usually always get confused, <laughs> but hopefully this is correct. Okay. So these are the numbers again. So let's go through them. Ek, do, teen, char. Punch, Che, Sat, Art, No, Thus. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ek, Do, Teen, Char, Punch, Che, Sat, Art, no, thus. Okay, so these were the numbers from 1 to 10. Um, I hope this was interesting or useful. And I know this is a very short video, but um, I promise I will shoot longer ones. When I'm uh, moving to a different city next week. I'm going back home actually. Um, so hopefully I will get the right environment in time to shoot longer videos for you and uh, yeah let me know how you like this and thank you for watching have a great week ahead bye